Hello everyone, this is Teacher Karen again. Nandito na naman po ako para sa unang araw ng pasukan. So, ang i-discuss ko po ngayon ay para sa mga estudyante. Uh, ang aung lesson natin ngayon for our first quarter, week 1, lesson number 1.1 is all about set. So, concept of set. Are you ready? Okay, look at the object below. Shirt, ball, toy car, cup, orange, guava, doll, blouse, mango, and teddy bear. So, how can you group the object? And then, you can name each of this. So, how you can name that object? So, I suggest we group them into three. Group A, group B, group C. So, in group A, we have toy car, ball, doll, teddy bear. In group B, mango, orange, guava. In group C, we have blouse, shirt, cup. So, I named them as, in group A, we named them toy. In group B, food. In group C, clothes. So, we changed the word group into set. And the letter A changed it into toy. And then group changed into set. And letter B that changed into fruit. And then also in group C, the name group changed into set. And the letter C changed into fruit. So in group A, we call them set of toy. In group B, we call them set of fruit. And then group C, we call them set of loop. Okay, in set of toys, we have toy car, ball, doll, and teddy bear. In set of fruit, we have mango, orange, guava. In set of clothes, we have blouse, shirt, and cup. So, we have activity number one. In the following collection of objects, find the one that is out of the group o yung hindi kasali sa grupo. Okay, letter A. Boat, kalesa, car, bus, and earthling. Find the one that is out of the group. The answer is kalesa. Why? Kalesa used for. But while boat, uh, car, bus, and earthling, they use gasoline. Letter B, we have car about chicken, cow, pig, goat. So, what is the one that is out of the group? So, the answer is chicken. Why? Chicken has two legs and lay eggs. While car about cow, pig, goat has four legs and they are mama. Okay, letter C, Lakan, Pampanga, Batangas, Bataan, Tarlac. Find the one that is out of the group. So the answer is Batangas. Why? Batangas located in South Area. But uh, while Bulacan, Bampanga, Bataan, Parlak located in North Area. Okay, letter D. Quadrilateral, hexagon, rectangle, rhombus, square. So what is the one that is out of the group? So, the answer is hexagon. Why? Hexagon has six sides, while quadrilateral, rectangle, rhombus, and square has four sides. Letter E, meter, centimeter, kilometer, square meter, decimeter. What is the one that is out of the group? So, the answer is square meter. Square meter, we use that unit into area, unit area. While meter, centimeter, kilometer, decimeter, that unit, we use them in length. Unit of length or unit in distance. Next, the concept of that is important in the study of mathematics and other related fields. 
So we have column A and column B. In column A, we have collection of positive integers. We have positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. So we have a specific answer. Math books, collection of math, math books in, like, in the library. We have geometry, statistics, algebra, general mathematics. So we also know the specific answer. In collection of names of students, we have also a list of students. We also know the answer. Collection of animals weighing at least 300 kilograms. So we also know also the answer. So in column B, we have collection of rich people. So we, we, did, we, did, uh, we don't know the specific answer. Also in the large number, animals, nice people, and bright people. We, do not know the specific answer. In the other word, in column A, we call them well-defined because uh, all the objects there, uh, we have, we define them well. We know the specific answer. But while in column B, we didn't know the, uh, the specific answer. So it, it is not defined it well. So that we call them well, not well-defined. Column A well defined, column B not well defined. So set it is undefined term in mathematics. It is described as well defined. So well defined it means that a given object can be categorically identified to belong to the collection or not. So, we try activity number two. State whether each of the following set is well defined or not. Then explain. In number one, the set of all large numbers, we have, set we have so many set of large numbers. Uh, so, no specific answer. So, we call them not well defined. In number two, Set of all multiples of 5, we have 5, 10, 15, 20. So we have a specific answer, so we call them well defined. The set of good writers, so no specific answer, so we call them not well defined. Number 4, a set of nice people in your class, so no specific answer, so we call them not well defined. And number five, the set of all factors of 24. So we have 8, 2, 3, 1, 24, 12. So we know the answer. So we call them well defined. Next, group of objects are said to be well defined if anyone agrees that an object belongs to the group. Otherwise, it is not well defined. The example for well-defined are the vowels in the English alphabet. We know them. A E I O U. The month of a year: January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And even numbers from zero to ten: two, four, six, eight, ten. So we have specific answer. So we call them well-defined. Not well-defined. Group of intelligent students. List of beautiful students. No specific answer. Basket of different delicious fruits. No specific answer. Unless you see them. But we call them not well defined. So class, what is that? Set it is undefined term in mathematics it is described as well defined and group of objects are said to be well defined if anyone agrees that an object belongs to the group otherwise it is not well defined. In short, if we have a specific answer, we call them well defined. But if it uh, if it is uh, if it have no specific answer that is not well defined. Okay, so see you again and God bless. Hope na nakatulong sa inyo yung explanation. And then, uh, 
good luck for our uh, online class. Thank you. Mm -hmm.